Joining us on the news is News Central's East Africa correspondent, Abdino Ading. He joins us from Nairobi, Kenya. Thank you very much, Abdino, for joining us. This is Mohammed's second time being elected president, having served in the position between 2012 and 2017. What do you think he will be doing differently this time around? Thank you so much, uh, Felicity. Indeed, it was his first day uh, of inauguration and uh, many hopes uh, of the Somalis are placed on him. Uh, the Horn of Africa is looking at uh, the next actions he'll take, the next steps he'll implement, taking the country forward. And of course, this time around, he comes as a president uh, who served in his uh, previous term as the eighth president of the Republic. And this time, this time he comes back with a lot of experience, with a lot of uh, exposure as an opposition leader, as someone who was actually at the front line in the Council of Presidential Candidates, um, uh, trying to put the previous administration under pressure uh, on matters of democracy, the security of the country, coordinating and completing the elections. And now being on the seat of power himself, he is going to come with a different approach with a lot of lessons learned uh, through his uh, uh, five years uh, out of office. Uh, he is to pick a prime minister after his inauguration, whose mandate we understand will be constituting government for proper service delivery. What political factors do you see coming into play in achieving this appointment? If we look back in 2017, immediately President, uh, the former president, uh, Mohammed Abdullahi Fromajo, was voted in. It took him 15 days uh, when he won the elections on 8th February. Um, on 23rd February, he announced Hassan Ali Fere as his prime minister, a period that was uh, many Somalis have waited for. Now, President Hassan Sheikh has uh, uh, really completed uh, more than 15 days, but the issue is not about the number of days. The issue is uh, finding a suitable candidate, considering many issues uh, such as uh, you know having a harmonious working relationship, having a prime minister that can help him fulfill his vision for the country, Somalia at peace with itself and with the rest of the world, where, you know, we also have need us a prime minister who has the public faith in him, clean political record, because President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud has had a legacy in his first uh, previous term in office where uh, he was, you know, hugely praised for his role and uh, influence on many sectors of the country. Therefore, now, I think he's putting uh, his wisdom in check and consulting widely for settling uh, for a name. Uh, the president in his first interview said the Horn of Africa country is facing a security challenge and that the country has been struggling to provide security for its citizens. How do you see him tackling insecurity? Immediately after winning his, uh, you know, the seat uh, on the 15th of May, in his acceptance, uh, you know, victory speech, he said that uh, he understands the country is facing security challenges and he's really prepared to enable the country uh, look for all solutions. And uh, in, in his speech today, he also captured the same message. He said, we will only move forward as a country if we are able to uh, counter the challenges we are facing. And uh, his prioritization of security uh, is indeed something that many citizens have uh, placed uh, their belief in him for, uh, because he's also, uh, you know, mentioned that uh, um, the country is facing <laughs> challenges uh, because of, uh, you know, uh, the instability in some parts of the country where there are some areas where, uh, you know, the citizens have been facing persecution from the Al Shabaab, you know, terrorist organization. So. The president has also sought, you know, support from many partners. He sent a message of appreciation to President Joe Biden uh, for recently sending the U.S. troops to come and support his peace efforts. Therefore, uh, many are even saying that, uh, you know, uh, the president uh, will try and even, you know, bring in all the brains on matters related to security, uh, countering radicalization and, and terror-related issues and strategists to try and find the most possible solution to have a safer Somalia under his reign. New leader could take advantage of the planned return of U.S. forces to the country to bolster the war against Al Shabaab and strengthen the national army. How do you react to this? 
Indeed, uh, not uh, a personal reaction per se, but a reflection of uh, you know the comments given by the opinions given by Somali security experts, the citizens themselves, Somali politicians themselves. They have usually welcomed and described it as a show of faith uh, by the U.S. administration on uh, His Excellency President Hassan Sheikh Mahmoud's uh, you know capability to maximize the support in terms of uh, you know uh, uh, enhancing Somalia's security. The other thing is the country uh, is also preparing for a transition period uh, to put security, you know, the management of security under uh, you know the Somali security forces to manage the country's own security and uh, you know uh, uh, away from uh, atmis or amisom as known in the past. Uh, the other issue is that. Uh, there are already a lot of, you know, trained uh, troops, some trained by Turkey. Uh, we have the Eritrean troops, which President Formaggio uh, announced when, you know, he was handing over office to him, where he said that the troops are, are going to be back. I never wanted them to come back during the elections period so that uh, there won't be allegations of misuse of those troops. Therefore, Mr. President, and I quote, he said, I hand over these troops from Eritrea to you to help you in your efforts to improve security in the right. country. Therefore, this is a huge boost for his administration. Yeah, I, I would like if you can take this in 30 seconds, the situation of famine and drought in Somalia. Um, do you think that this president will be able to do something quickly to begin to address it? If you can say that in 30 seconds, please, we're out of time. 30 seconds might be more. He's already announced a special presidential envoy on drought response. He's also sought support from international donors. He's also using his networks and the grassroots uh, to help uh, you know, the people are faced by famine and hunger. And he has said that this is his immediate course until uh, people find a relief from the drought. All right, thank you very much, Abdinopo, for speaking with us.